This hydroelectric dam is set to power an entire region. Have you ever considered the intricate mechanisms that power entire regions through hydroelectric dams? How does a colossal undertaking like the Site C Dam make its way to an impressive 90% completion and what controversies swirl around its journey? Today, we plunge into the core of this monumental project, unraveling the narrative behind the Site C Dam. Together, we navigate the challenges, celebrate the achievements, and explore the vast potential it holds for the future. Join us as we traverse the labyrinth of this ambitious energy venture, shedding light on its significant milestones and the controversies that intricately shape its compelling narrative. The Canadian province of British Columbia is renowned for its impressive hydropower facilities and rich history of power production. Standing out among these is the Site C Hydropower Project, recognized as the largest major hydropower initiative in the region since 1984. As a response to the global push for renewable energy, this project serves as the latest addition to the already remarkable history of hydropower generation in the BC area. Despite the potential benefits it brings, Site C is not without its share of controversies, prompting many to contemplate the essence of this ambitious hydropower venture and the transformations it might introduce to the region's power landscape. Furthermore, the question arises, why does a renewable energy station attract such considerable debate? BC Hydro is actively constructing the Site C Dam, a significant hydroelectric project situated on the Peace River, approximately 14 kilometers southwest of Fort St. John in northeastern British Columbia, Canada. This mega initiative, positioned about 80 kilometers downstream from the Wack Bennett Dam, is poised to become the fourth largest hydroelectricity producer in British Columbia upon its completion in 2025. Crafted with a robust capacity of 1,000 megawatts and an anticipated annual output of 4,600 gigawatt hours, this project is intricately designed to furnish a steady power supply to roughly 450,000 households in British Columbia each year. This meticulous planning not only guarantees a dependable and sustainable energy source, but more notably, an economically viable one for the residents of the province. Upon its finalization, the project will tap into the stored water reserves of the Williston Reservoir, an integral component of the existing Wack Bennett Dam. Consequently, the Site C initiative will forego the necessity of constructing a separate water storage system. Instead, it will establish an expansive 83-kilometer-long reservoir encompassing a total surface area of 9,330 hectares. Notably, this involves a contentious flooding impact, affecting approximately 5,550 hectares of land. The Site C Clean Energy Hydroelectric Power Plant is designed to feature six vertical axis Francis turbines, each boasting a robust 183 megawatt capacity for optimal energy creation. The water diversion system for the project incorporates two tunnels with diameters of 10 and 80 meters, extending 700 and 800 meters in length, respectively. Facilitating the water flow, the powerhouse will employ six penstocks, each measuring 80 meters in length and 10 meters in width. The discharged water from the generating station and spillways will be channeled back into the river through an efficient tail race system. The Site C Clean Energy project encompasses the construction of a 60 meter high and 1,500 meter long earth fill dam featuring a crest width of 10 meters. A critical element of the project, the dam spillway, integrates seven gates for precise water flow management. Additionally, the initiative involves the establishment of two coffer dams on the north and south banks of the river to further enhance its infrastructure. The entire structure is strategically positioned on an 800 meter long and 70 meter high roller compacted concrete buttress, providing a robust foundation for the powerhouse and spillways as meticulously outlined in the analysis. Anticipated during the development and construction are the creation of approximately 35,000 jobs, supplemented by an additional 10,000 direct construction positions. This employment outlook is complemented by the foresight of a continuous 100-year power supply. What's more, the projected economic impact reveals a substantial boost with an estimated contribution of about $160 million to the local GDP and a remarkable $3.2 billion to the provincial GDP. Positioned at the nexus of engineering marvel and regional gem, the Site C project stands as a testament to ingenuity and promises lasting benefits for the area. Despite marking a significant advancement in the region's power supply infrastructure, the project grapples with a series of controversies looming over its construction. 
originating in the 70s, the project encountered a barrage of challenges and inquiries, primarily concerns regarding its environmental impact. The strength of these concerns became evident between 81 and 83 when the BC Utilities Commission rejected the Site C project. Their science cited a failure to consider energy prices and a lack of reliance on statistically significant past patterns of behavior. However, in 2010, the project secured an exemption through the enactment of the Clean Energy Act, and by 2014, it had obtained approval from both federal and provincial governments following an exhaustive three-year environmental review. Initiating construction in 2015, the project carried an estimated price tag of around $16 billion. However, as of February 21, the project found itself entangled in fresh controversies. Skepticism arose regarding the planned flooding of agricultural land, potential harm to the local environment, the strain of high construction costs, exploration of alternative options, and the uncertainty surrounding future electricity prices and demand in the province. Subsequently, Treaty 8 First Nations and local landowners initiated legal challenges against the dam. These assertions were later dismissed by the Federal Court of Appeals, permitting the dam's construction to proceed. Further opposition emerged from a coalition of over 200 scholars and the Royal Society of Canada. In May 2016, they formally articulated their concerns to the federal Liberal government, highlighting deficiencies in the regulatory review process and the environmental assessment associated with the project. Despite the fervent public opposition, on December 11, 2017, the government declared its resolution to finalize the construction of Site C. They clarified that opting for an alternative cause would burden British Columbians with an immediate, inevitable and crippling $4 billion debt without tangible returns. Emphasizing these repercussions, they warned of potential rate hikes or diminished allocations for schools, hospitals and vital infrastructure. Addressing the public, they affirmed, while Site C may not have been our preferred or initial choice, its completion is imperative. Backed by the steadfast commitment of the government, the project is scheduled to commence power supply in 24, with an anticipated completion date around 25. Projections suggest that this initiative will play a pivotal role in averting an estimated 30 to 70 million metric tons of CO2 emissions, solidifying its status as a significant stride in the ongoing battle against pollution, climate change and global warming. Conversations have transpired with Ottawa, Canada regarding the potential transfer of Site C power between BC and Alberta. Prime Minister Trudeau expressed support, stating, Collaborating on an interprovincial or national level to reduce emissions with a focus on hydroelectricity as an alternative to coal and, where feasible, natural gas is beneficial for the nation. It enhances our emission profile and stimulates economic growth. We must forge ahead with these initiatives. Despite garnering government and public support, the project still faces challenges. In 2023, the primary contractor responsible for constructing the dam incurred a 1.1 million fine for releasing contaminated drainage water into the Peace River. Federal agents detected the pollution and asserted that in 2018, the contractor discharged 3,300 cubic meters of drainage water containing elevated metal concentrations into the Peace River due to insufficient capacity in their water treatment system. The Peace River Hydro Partners admitted guilt in court, acknowledging a direct violation of the Federal Fisheries Act as per Environment and Climate Change Canada. Beyond these legal issues, the project contends with logistical and weather-related challenges. A critical concern arises from BC Hydro's insufficient transmission capacity to efficiently distribute the generated energy to where it's needed. The surge in demand from industries aiming to decarbonize and prioritize renewable energy exacerbates this problem. While Site C's potential to power industries is acknowledged, it necessitates a significant overhaul of BC Hydro's energy transmission networks. Currently, the existing capacity can meet the North Coast's present and committed load, but accommodating Site C's additional load requires strategic upgrades. The Site C dam development has achieved a significant milestone, with the dam itself nearing an impressive 90% completion, while the overall project has surpassed the 70% mark. As this ambitious initiative advances towards its conclusion, the local community can confidently expect that the forthcoming power supply will not only meet current needs, but also accommodate the expected population growth for years to come. Amid the ongoing debates and controversies surrounding the project, a prevailing perspective suggests that the numerous advantages it brings to the region far outweigh any potential drawbacks. The optimism surrounding its imminent completion reflects a collective anticipation for the positive impacts poised to benefit both the community and the broader energy landscape. When do you think that the Site C Dam will be completed? Do you expect any further controversies during the construction process? And what do you think they may be? 
Let us know down in the comments below. And if you found this video intriguing and want to delve deeper into the future of construction, be sure to subscribe to the Uber Build.